There was a milestone in space today. A private, unmanned spacecraft owned and operated by an American company docked with the International Space Station. Uh, Houston Station looks like we got us a dragon by the tail. Uh, the capsule is called Dragon by its owner, the SpaceX Company of California. This is the future. Since the space shuttle stopped flying last July, the Obama administration turned the shuttle's missions over to private industry. SpaceX has a $1.6 billion contract with NASA to fly the Dragon on 12 missions to carry cargo to and from the station. This was SpaceX mission control today when Dragon was approaching the space station. As the robot arm reached out, the knuckles here were white. Then, euphoria. The factory outside Los Angeles has 1,800 employees. They build everything from the engines to the rockets to the capsule. The company was launched by Elon Musk, the billionaire co-founder of PayPal. Here are those seats. Dragon can hold seven. Garrett Reisman has flown on the space shuttle and space station for NASA. Now he works for SpaceX. You could have easily gotten a job at Boeing or at Lockheed, but you came here. If you had a chance to go back in time and work with Howard Hughes when he was creating TWA, if you had a chance to be there at that moment when it was getting on the ground floor at the beginning of a, the dawn of a brand new era, wouldn't, wouldn't you want to do that? I mean, that's, that's why I'm here. There are a half dozen private companies competing in a NASA program to develop a manned ship. SpaceX hopes today's docking puts them in the lead. How big a leap is it to take this Dragon capsule and make it a manned spacecraft? It's not that big of a leap, to be honest with you. Uh, we, have to, we need to make a big leap in safety. And I am a, a big believer that this vehicle will be 10 times safer than any spacecraft anybody's ever strapped into. 50 years from now, when people look back at this moment in time in terms of space flight, what will they say about this era? What I'm hoping that to say is that this was the golden age of space. This was the, the, the point in time where we really figured out how, how to make a commercial space flight infrastructure to allow space lines to begin. Did you say space lines? Yeah, yeah, like airlines, but for, for space. Yeah, I'm hoping this is the beginning of that. Reisman told us that SpaceX hopes to fly its first private crew in 2015. By the way, we noticed, as luck would have it, today is the 51st anniversary of President Kennedy's speech that set the goal of reaching the moon, the goal reached by Neil Armstrong on Apollo 11 in 1969.